Hey everyone, it's Daryl as a service. I wanted to share a simple scenario that I've been using uh, with Loop, with Microsoft Teams, and with managing my tasks. And we, we within our team, uh, have a way of keeping people up to date with what we're doing uh, by posting something in a channel. Uh, and the channel is all about what am I working on. Uh, so I wanted to show you some of the flow of how I go through this. Now, on my mobile, Perhaps I'm starting my day, I'm on my way catching a bus to work and I open up a loop page that is in our workspace and on that page is just a very simple um, task list. Uh, and so this task list is a list that I can show my team and help me sort of make a basic list of what I want to work on for today. Um, so I've got a couple of tasks in here and I'm just going to add one more uh, which is all about uh, statement of work for training videos. Okay, and I'm going to assign that to me. Now, that, that's important for when I'm putting something in a list in a loop page because that will also uh, make it go through to Planner. It's assigned to me and I can see it in my assigned to me tasks. So this is something that I might do from a mobile device and um, great, I could be doing that while I'm on the move, coming up with some thoughts and ideas about what I'm going to work on. But when I get set up and I'm, I'm on uh, my laptop, then this is where I'm starting to work on um, uh, the same tasks and the same loop content that I've just added there. And I'm using loop here as just a simple way to capture my thoughts, to capture my tasks. So here it is in the loop workspace. Uh, the workspace is just at the moment set up to show you in demo, but it is a workspace for my team, a modern work mentor, and we've got a section uh, with some sub pages for each of our people uh, to show the same thing. What are they working on today? Uh, so this is my page, and you can see that the um, the task that I just entered on my mobile has synchronized or it is in real time um, added to the same task list. You can actually still see that I'm active in there from my phone. Uh, so if I was to tap into that top task, then you can see where I'm working there. So I've got this task, I've got this list, it's in the shared workspace, but where do I take it into Teams and where do I extend this? Uh, so what we have done is um, we copy this whole page as a component. Now. Um, this workspace is shared with my team, so I know that when I'm copying this component, um, this is the first time I've done it in my uh, web browser, so yes, Link has copied. I've just configured this browser to do that. Um, that it's going to be a component. And so what I now do is, this is where we start to use the, uh, the loop, uh, rather the Teams channel. This is a Teams channel in our team, just to signal and work out loud and say, what am I working on? These are conversations. You can see that Laura has posted uh, some of her uh, tasks that she's going to work on today. And so they are um, a loop component within the conversation. Now I'm using the new team, so my, my um, text box for creating new posts is at the top. Let's pop this down. And uh, I'm going to create a new post. And the good thing about the um, post that I'm creating here, I like to just uh, start off by going, Daryl is working on. And then the date, because I'm gonna create the same post, um, another post like this each day. Uh, so today's date is the 1st of December. Okay, so all pretty simple stuff. Um, I might put in, uh, in part of this post, just a few notes about what I plan to do in terms of, you know, am I finishing early today or is anyone uh, planning to go out for lunch or maybe some inspirational quotes. So maybe um, uh, I'm, I'm uh, working outdoors today from, whoops, Kohi Marama Marama beach. All right. Um, so yeah, typical post, but here's the magic. So as I post the link to that component into the Teams conversation, and this is new for Teams uh, in channel conversations, now loop components are supported, um, that I now have that same component 
and it is sharing uh, my task list, the things that I plan to work on today. So let's post that into the team. Now it's a very simple post, but what's helpful here for me is that I don't have to recreate this list of bullet points every day. That all I have to do is go back to that same list and I can just change up and show the team what I'm working on. Now I will still create a team's post each day because maybe I've got a few things that I want to say in context around those tasks. Uh, but here's those tasks and maybe I've I've worked my way through the day and I'm going to, I've met with Matthew and I know that invoicing is something that I'll be doing a bit later on, um, but I might just change the priority here of the statement of work, tasks that I'm going to work on a bit later. Now, as I work through this, of course, maybe I don't want to have a big list of tasks that have been completed and crossed out, uh, so uh, I can eventually just, you know, delete that task if I've, if I've worked on it and completed it, and I can use that list again for the following day. In fact, that's very easy to do, that uh, I can copy the link to the component and I can go back up and create a new post and do it the same way. Um, so if you see an example of this here, that uh, with Laura, she's given her tasks. We've got Matt down here and he's talked about what he's working on. And so it's just a quick way to just sort of jump into the channel and see what people are working on and it's conversation, what's part of the team and we get the benefits of Loop task management and the like. Now, where else could I find those tasks? Well, I could jump into, um, because it is in Planner and because it is connected to To Do, uh, then I might go into, let's say, my calendar. And we'll open up the My Day pane, yeah? So I use this in um, modern Outlook, the new Outlook that's coming out, but I'm, I'm quite, uh, confident with using with using those tasks there so I can see uh, tasks that I'm working on there or well, what about um, back into teams where might I also see that well I'm going to go into the planner app and because these are tasks that have been added to a uh, planner that's a, that is connected to the loop page that I created then I can go into um, my tasks and now into this new view called assign to me and I can see those top two tasks there are to do with um, the loop page that I that I listed my tasks on so from there um, I'm able to you know open up a task and say great uh, let's open that up and I can start to work on it and put a whole lot more detail into it now there is something that I would like to see happen um, between Planner and To Do and Outlook and that is that when I wanted to maybe, I think I can do this from here, let's try and do a right click and add to My Day. Now this My Day list is a nice place to be able to go and refer to things that you plan to work on, a bit like the list that I created in Loop. But what I want to be able to see is that when I click on Add to My Day, um, great, it's there and it's available now in the My Day list. And I could also go into, let's say, into Outlook, open up the To Do app, and I can also see them in My Day, eventually, if it catches up. There it is, okay. So there's that same task. We've, we've got you know this life cycle of an idea and a list of things that we plan to do. Um, but what's really missing here is that I can't view that same task in this My Day um, task list. Let's go into My Day here, um, and we don't see that there. Now that, that's because these tasks are only listed if they're not part of a plan, it would seem. See, if I had it there, then I could uh, go into my calendar and do this uh, wonderful thing where I'm into doing time blocking. And so if it was a task that I planned to work on, then I could just drag that out onto my calendar. Let's say uh, here. And now I've blocked some time in my calendar to work on that. Now, I've, I know I've taken you in a few kind of circles in terms of how I've been using Loop, been using Planner, been using um, tasks and to-do and, and, uh, and how it all comes together in teams. But hopefully you see, let's just finish off just by recapping that. 
that you know what I managed to do for my mobile uh, and put a, a few tasks uh, on my list for today as I was working um, was also then synchronized through to loop on my desktop so same thing same page that I'm using it and then I could share that list of tasks quite simply with my team in the channel called I'm working on so what do you think of that it's it's a display a practical use of how we might use loop how we might use tasks and um, and showing off a few of the new things that we could do now with loop within teams so um, look you know where to find me um, these days out and about it would seem but you know where to find me on my channel and you know what to do subscribe like etc all of those things that everyone says um, but it all also helps uh, for you to be able to keep up with what I'm working on and for me to get that support and we'll see you again soon bye for now